So how about crock pot spaghetti? Mrs. Cheap sent me a recipe of one pot spaghetti where you do it on the stove. And I said, well, how about in a crock pot? That'd make it even easier. So we'll see. <laughs> we start out with the, I got the spaghetti and I got the pot size because then I don't have to break it. Fits in the crock pot. That's smart. Uh, garlic and basil, that's smart. I love their products. 85 cents for a can of, of uh, spaghetti sauce. You got some canned mushrooms. I need to drain those. Also, we got meatballs and a little butter. Let's get going. So the pasta that was on sale for 88 cents for a pound of pasta. I'll put some that way, some that way. I'll do about half the box. That's probably plenty. And we will uh, pour our sauce in. This is a 24 ounce can, or you can certainly use a jar. And we'll do a little bit of water on top of that. We'll put our other ingredients in first. Can of mushrooms. Optional, we like mushrooms. We do, we do. I'm gonna put uh, a couple pats of butter in just cause that's a lot of good flavor. And I like putting that in my homemade marinara that I make. Now we'll do the meatballs. We make big batches of meatballs and freeze them. And then it's easy to just throw in the crock pot for meatball subs, anything like that. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, are you leaving like two in there? We'll throw them all in. Now, let me get some water and rinse the can out. We'll cover it that. All right, I'm going to start with just about half a can of water. Or just kind of fill it up like that. Ooh, look at it gurgling. All right, I don't want too much water. So that's about just enough to cover the spaghetti. I'm going to put it on low and just, I'll check it every hour or so and see if I need to add a little bit more water. I don't want to add too much because I don't want the sauce to be too watery. So let's put it on low and let her cook. And hey, we're playing it by ear, seeing how long it's going to take. All right, we are two hours in. I just want to check. Looks like I still got plenty of moisture in there. Ooh, my spaghetti's starting to cook. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. This is the first time you're stirring it. Yes, yep. I still want to make sure all that spaghetti is submerged, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna make sure I get that pushed down. It smells good. Yeah. I'm gonna let it go probably another hour because that's normal spaghetti right now. It kind of looks like angel hair, right? Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cover it, let it go another hour, and we'll check it again. We may need to add a little bit of water, but we'll see. All right. So that went just a little over four hours, about four and a half hours on low, and it is done. Get some spaghetti on there. What'd you put on the salad? Oh, just some olives. It's like an olive garden salad, you know, true Italian. And like I said, I might reserve a little bit of sauce to put on this at the end, I'm thinking. So I think that would be, that would make it a little, it could be a little saucier. Look at this, I got real Parmesan here. Gonna grate that on top because that's how we roll now. <laughs> I'm really impressed with this. I, I hope it tastes good. I think it will. You were, you were skeptical. I, I was very skeptical. And I hadn't seen a crock pot, you know, just saw the one pot, but this looks very good. And I'm thinking the spaghetti is all done. And I, like I said, I would maybe reserve a little sauce to put on towards the very end, but I'd rather have it like this than watery. It's very good, it's not gummy. And I'm, I'm calling this for simplicity and cheapness. This is a hit with Johnny's Cheap. Crock pot, spaghetti and meatballs. I like it, follow us, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Any ideas, give us a share, give us a like. Any ideas you want us to cook, let us know in the comments below. With John Eats Cheap, we're ready to dig in.